Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you work with data, especially getting it ready for analysis, reporting, or feeding into your data warehouse, you've definitely heard these terms, ETL and ELT. But what do they actually mean? And more importantly, which one should you be using? Let's dive into the core differences between these two fundamental data processing methods. ETL and ELT are essentially two different sequences for getting data from its source into a destination like a data warehouse or data lake, ready for analysis. They both involve three key steps, extract, transform, and load. The difference is the order. ETL stands for extract, transform, load. And ELT stands for extract, load, transform. Let's break down what each step means and how the order changes everything. With ETL, the steps happen in this order, extract, you pull data from your source systems. These could be databases like RDMS or NoSQL, files like CSVs, or other sources. Transform, this is the key step that happens before loading. You clean the data, restructure it, aggregate it, apply calculations, and make sure it fits the predefined structure, or schema, of your target data warehouse. This transformation usually happens on a separate staging server or within the ETL tool itself. Load, finally, the transformed, clean, structured data is loaded into the target data warehouse or data lake. Think of ETL like preparing ingredients perfectly before you put them into a specific container. You slice, dice, and mix everything outside, then load the finished mix into the pot. Looking at the features for ETL, it's ideal for smaller, structured data volumes. Processing time can take longer before loading because of the transformation step. It requires your schema to be defined beforehand, which can mean less flexibility if your data sources change often. Typical use cases include operational data processing and scenarios needing complex data transformations before the data is usable. Now, let's look at ELT. The steps are reordered, extract, same first step, you pull data from your source systems. But notice the sources listed here include complex XML, JSON, images, video, etc., often less structured data. Load, this is the big difference. You load the raw, untransformed data directly into your target system, typically a modern data warehouse or data lake. Transform, the transformation happens after the data is loaded, within the target system itself. You use the computing power of your data warehouse or data lake to perform cleaning, restructuring, and analysis directly on the data that's already stored there. ELT is like dumping all your ingredients into a giant blender or mixing bowl first, and then doing all the cutting, mixing, and pureeing inside that container, using the container's own motor and blades. For ELT, it's ideal for larger, unstructured, or semi-structured data volumes. Loading is faster because you're just moving raw data. Transformation leverages the target system's computing power, which is often highly scalable in cloud data warehouses. It offers more flexibility because you can load raw data first and decide how to transform it later, adapting to changing needs without redefining a schema up front. Typical use cases are big data analytics, data lake integration, and working with cloud-based data warehouses like Snowflake, BigQuery, or Redshift. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.